Hi guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am sharing my absolute best back to school mom hacks for you. I hope that these hacks help you simplify, organize, and just help your life as your kids go back to school. I have three little boys, a kindergartner, a preschooler, and a baby, so things are really busy around here, and these hacks have really helped me out, so I hope they help you out. And if you have any good hacks and tips for me, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I am always looking for more. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Marian. I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom, and I would love to have you as one of my subscribers just hit that red button down below it really helps the channel and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and here in my kitchen because this is where everything happens in the morning as we are getting ready for school and if I don't have things set up right this tends to be the area where things go very wrong but that's not gonna happen this year okay let me show you what I got going on so right off our kitchen on the main floor we have a little bathroom and so I decided to put some toothbrushes and toothpaste here also diapers for the baby that way I can just brush their teeth after after breakfast before we head out the door because I don't want them to have to go back upstairs <laughs> to get ready because we all know that would slow them down. And next to the bathroom, we have our family calendar. I will link it for you below. And I also have a 10% discount from this amazing company on Etsy, Circle and Square Decor. They do these acrylic family calendars. So I put everything, their school schedule, days they have off, birthdays, everything right there for the whole family to see. And it really, really helps me in the morning. And then of course, I have my Jewish holiday calendar that I sell on my Etsy shop. It's just a digital printable that you can download. So I framed it next to that one. Um, um, but it's really nice to have be able to know when the Jewish holidays are during the year too. And then let's talk about homework in my kitchen. I have a little section where everything we need for homework, which right now, because we're just in kindergarten, is right here. So I just have this really nifty um, crayon or supplies organizer. It's from Amazon. I'll link it. I absolutely love it. So when it's time to do any worksheets or anything like that, I just take this right here and the kids will sit with me in the kitchen and get whatever homework they need to get done. Okay, and then this is in my office. I wanted to chat with you guys for a second about kids' birthday parties because, oh my goodness, our whole social life is my kids' social life's birthday parties. Um, I get these adorable stickers. Let me take them out so I don't have the glare. These are from Erin Condren and they just peel off. You just stick them to the birthday present. And it's so nice because I don't need to have remembered to do cards or write the cards or get the cards. I just stick this right on the wrapping paper. Then it also won't fall off, which is really nice for the parents. So I keep a stack of the ones for Max and ones for Koi for whatever gifts they're giving out. And that has really helped me. So this present is all ready to go for Corey's friend's birthday this weekend. I just slapped the sticker on it. It looks so cute and I have it ready and done. Also here in my office, I have their um, art workbooks. So this is Max's preschool one. I'm doing the same thing for Corey and I'll probably do the same thing for elementary school as well. This is all his like official school pictures. But then what I have is all his work from each grade. I have like the class picture and then the work and then the work that he did that year how cute is this um all saved just all the really special projects from the year saved in their little section and then i do the same thing for each year i just collect all the stuff that i really want to save and make sure to put it in this binder okay and then back to gifts and wrapping another thing i bought this year this was just from amazon but isn't this so cute i bought this for teachers gifts and it just really makes things look special so even if you're giving just a simple gift card and a card with, with it you know a little handwritten note I just tied with this ribbon around it and I thought it made it look really really special so I'll link that for you guys down below okay so I'm upstairs in my room because I wanted to share with you guys about something really super important when it comes to back to school and that is taking care of yourself as a mom so we all know that during the back to school time it's important to like book their kids in for their annual physicals make sure they're up to date and everything like that with what they need to go back to school but it's a time to also think about yourself and I really wanted to share with you guys this amazing resource from let's get checked so what they offer our at home test kits. So this one is a PCOS one. You guys know I'm always sharing about women's health and what I'm doing actively and proactively to take care of myself. I've shared about my thyroid issues and everything like that. So I was really in 
interested in working with Let's Get Checked and I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video because you can actually just go to their website and check out what you can test for at home. So this is the collection sample. I haven't done it yet um, for the PCOS. It's a saliva test and a blood test. You can do both at home. I actually just activated my test on my phone. It took me about 30 seconds and filled out a little questionnaire about my health history. And then you have to do the collection like certain days of your cycle. So I think you need to do it in three more days. I forget. I, I'm actually going to get a reminder text on my phone from Let's Get Checked to collect the sample and drop it off to UPS so that it can get back in time. And then I'll be able to just go online, see the results, which are reviewed by a clinician, which is amazing. So I know for someone like me, I always struggle with getting doctor's visits booked in because I always have a little one with me and it is so, so hard to find the time to do that. So definitely don't put yourself last and try to make the time and use resources like Let's Get Checked to do as much as you can at home. So I'll show you guys how this specific test works and all about what you can find on their website. So this is what the test looks like. All I need to do is a small finger prick and a little spit sample and then I'll send it right back and I'm going to be getting my results in two to five days. If you're curious about PCOS, you should definitely check out the Let's Get Checked website. So I had heard a lot about PCOS when it comes to women's reproductive system. I know it's a hormone problem, but it can also lead to weight gain, acne, other issues. So if you're struggling to lose weight or dealing with mood disorders and things like that, definitely check out the PCOS test from Let's Get Checked. Super easy, comes in a small discreet package right to your door. You just do the test at home and send it back. All the details about Let's Get Checked and my discount code for you guys will be in the description down below. Okay, so moving on to clothes. I just got this awesome over the door hanger from Amazon. It's so cool. I actually showed it on Instagram. People are like, what do you put in there? I was like, clothes, of course. So what I do is for each day of the week, I just put out all my boys' clothes. So I do it on a Sunday night and just get them ready for the week ahead. There they are playing in their little pajamas, getting ready for bed. And I've got everything here ready to go for the week. I actually put both boys' clothes in one rack. It fits because I don't fold their clothes I just smush them in it's totally fine but you of course could have one for each child there's also space for accessories or shoes or whatever you want to but put so far this is working out really well and making getting dressed so much easier in the morning Speaking of not folding, that's another pro mom tip I have, and that is to not fold their clothes. So I, so I actually just sorted out Max's clothes. That's why this drawer is like completely empty. This is what he has for winter coming up. So he has one long sleeve shirt that fits him and three pairs of pants. Um, but then for his short sleeve shirts, here they are. So they're like not really folded they're just kind of put in and my pro tip is to not have too many clothes when your stuff isn't like exploding out of the drawers then they really don't crease so this shirt for example it's like one of those spf kind of shirts it doesn't crease anyways i don't waste any time folding little boys clothes so that's it. Those are my best back to school hacks for you. I hope you liked this video and learned something that would be helpful in your home. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up to let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.